In this video, I'll talk about our listener work, learning deep network representations with adversarially regularized autoencoders. The problem of network representation learning, also known as network embedding, arises in many machine learning tasks, assuming that there exists a small number of variabilities in the vertex representations which can capture the semantics of the original network structure. For this embedding problem, there are two major challenges, the preservation of complex structure property and the sparsity of network sampling. The learning work sampling technique is widely adopted in network embedding research. However, it suffers from the sparsity problem in network sampling because the sample data represent only a small proportion of all vertex sequences. So here, figure A and B shows that if work length or the average vertex degree increases, the performance decreases dramatically. According to this equation, obviously, when L or D increases, the sampling fraction of works is getting smaller Thereby, the chain model is prone to overfitting because of the sparsity input. On the contrary, if the number of sample, samples increases, the performance is getting better. Therefore, it is desirable to develop an effective model with better capabilities of generalization on sparsely sampled works. So here is the illustration of Natura. The deep network embedding architecture with adversarially regularized autoencoders. Netra jointly minimized network locality preserving loss and the reconstruction error of autoencoder, which utilizes the LSTM as an autoencoder to map the input sequences into a fixed length representation. The joint embedding Inference is encapsulated in the generative adversarial training process to circumvent the requirement of an explicit prior distribution. This generative adversarial training process can be viewed as a complementary regularizer. This process has two advantages. On one hand, the regularizer can guide the extraction of useful information about data. And on the other hand, it provides more robust discrete space representation learning that can well address the overfitting problem on sparsely sampled works. Here shows the visualization results of the compared methods on JDK dependency network. Three different colors represent different classes. It can be seen that the eigenvector-based methods, spectral clustering, cannot effectively identify different classes. Other baselines can detect the classes to very extents. Our model, Natra, performs best as it can separate these three classes with large boundaries, except for a small overlap between green and red vertices. If you are interested in further details, please read the full paper.